Good day, grade 12 learners, and welcome to our last video in the June Prac Prep series. Where we are looking now at database, and this is from 2023. So let's see what they were asking of you in 2023. And there you can see we've got our section for tables, forms, queries, and reports. And in 2023, that was around 40 marks. So let's see what they were asking of you. Um, inside the table, so normal things like, you know, selecting a primary key. They want you to create an ID code field that meets the following criteria. Do you have two uppercase letters and one required number? That's an input mask. Okay. Then a drop down list with these options. So that's fine. Setting the default value. Um, this one, the role field may not be left empty, so that's your required. You want to adjust those properties to required. Ensure that a value less than or equal to 70,000 must be entered in the cost field. And switch to data sheet view and make use of the totals to determine the total cost. So that's your totals inside your data sheet view. Okay, so it's not hectic stuff that they're asking of you. When it comes to the tables then with the forms they want you to create a form and we just use our form wizard for that we use an appropriate control add your name and surname into the form footer then and that's it that's it for forms your queries they want you to create three queries this one you're going to sort the query display so in other words taking that tick out of show or put in the tick in show, whether they want you to display or not display. And then this one also another query and they say ensure that there are no blanks. So there's a criteria involved there as well. Then they want you to make a change to an existing query. And they want you to put in a calculated field and then delete a particular column from a query. And that's what they asked of you uh, for the query section. Then lastly, the report and that was the bulk of the marks and yeah you can see creating the report so when we go through the report was and you see display all the fields group it sort it insert an image change now all of this you can do in the report wizard once it's done you can insert an image change the color of the header change the report heading so nothing difficult there that's one two three four five six marks change the page setup that's also fine and then this is the one that always comes up which is adding a calculation in the footer so they'll either have um, a control that's there or you will have to add the control and then put those calculations in there and format it as currency so that was what came up in 2023 let's have a look then at what came up in 2024 Let's have a look. And that's usually question four again. So let's go all the way down and see what they want. Oh, no. <laughs> Not question four. This one is question five. All right, there we go. So again, we're busy in our tables first. Primary key. Properties. The field size must be increased. The field size or the field cannot be empty. Um, change the date. Right, the format of the date, a combo box. Did we see that? Yes, we did. They want us to change, validate, or add a validation rule and validation text, add an input mask as well. So that's it for our tables. Very similar to what we saw in 2023, creating a form uh, and then editing form as well so in there they give us a picture of what they want it to look like at the end so again changing the color text add an image things like that and a little control over here usually to create a new record or something like that then in our queries creating queries um, making sure that we select all the relevant fields um, displaying certain things, putting in a calculated field. So you see that comes up again. And then going back to the data sheet view and having the totals there as well. And then creating a report um, that has been grouped and sorted. And there again, 
insert a text box with an appropriate label and formula in the report footer. So again, popping that in with a calculation, you see um, very similar between 2023 and 2024 in terms of what they were testing. And that gives us a good idea of what we can expect in 2025. So let's go over to the DBE and see what they did. And let's just get this one, 2023. See what they did in this paper. Let's go all the way down. Database. Oh, too big. Okay. So there we have with database, we in our tables again. We are modifying the properties, field size. Yeah, combo box, properties. They want us to change the date field to accept only dates from July 2023 to August 2024. Change the picture field as follows. And then they want us to change the color of the grid lines. Now, I know this is the DBE paper, but IAB learners, it would be great if you went through something like this just to test your skills there as well, you know. Then our forms, there you can see, you'll, you'll see there's not a massive amount asked in terms of the forms. Adding a form or creating a form and then applying conditional formatting to that. With the queries, creating your queries, displaying or not displaying certain items. There they show us what the, they want a particular query to look like. Inserting a calculated field as well. That's something that always comes up there. And then a report. And here they give us a screenshot of the report. And they want us to group that, sort that out, and ignore any text borders. So that was 2023. Let's have a look at 2024. Let's go all the way through here. There we have a database. Again, properties. So in the properties of your table, a lot has been asked there, things like data types, changing some of the properties, um, an input mask, there's another one that comes up often, deleting a field, maybe adding a field. For your forms, there you can see, modify the group field as follows. Um, so very small things that was you know asked of from the, the forms. Uh, they wanted you to insert a formula here into the form header. With our queries, you can see queries take up a oh, quite a quite a number of marks. So they want us to modify the query and create a list of animals here, for example. So not necessarily just creating the query, but being able to modify an existing query. Display only this. So taking that tick out of show or putting the tick in to display or not to display. Then using the AND and the OR feature, again, for our, for our criteria. And then displaying the average lifespan of animals, format your results to, to display with one decimal place. So these are the typical things that have come up. And then in our reports, to end everything off with, they really just wanted us to create a report and to use a particular image and create a border um, around the group field okay and yeah you can see that's like seven marks so grade 12 learners this is just the trend that we are seeing and that's all i'm doing in these videos just to identify the trends that we've picked up in the june 2023 and 2024 papers for both ieb and dbe learners this brings the videos to an end um, for this june prep prep and i wish you all the best for the prac paper that I know is coming soon, look out for my video that's going to help you prep for the theory as well.